Last time out, Team America took on Team Africa, and I said that if you could smash out over a thousand likes on that video, then I'd do another computer versus computer matchup, this time involving Team Europe and Team Asia. And you lot managed to completely crush that target within about 24 hours, which was absolutely insane. So here it is. Also, I've listened to all your feedback on the last video involving Team Asia, and for today's battle, Australian players will be included in the Team Asia lineup. You asked for it, Australia do of course compete in the Asian qualification process, so joining Team Asia for this one will be Aaron Moy and Brad Jones in the starting 11. I was going to put Matt Ryan in goal, but I've gone for the experienced Brad Jones instead, as at 6 foot 4, he's got quite a height advantage. So that's how Team Asia's looking. Whilst over in Team Europe, this is the starting 11 that I've gone with for them. Again, I've listened to your feedback in the comments section, and a number of you wanted to see Alba selector at left back rather than Alaba. Alba's quicker, so yeah, I've picked him in the starting 11. Both teams are rocking the same formation to keep things as fair as possible, and it should be an interesting game. Now though, for those that have missed any of the other continental battles that have taken place in this series, I've put them all together in a playlist, a link to that should be coming up in the top right hand corner, so of course if you did miss any of those matches, click on the playlist and check them out. And of course if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe for more. And if you absolute legends can hit over a thousand likes again on this video, that would be insane. Before we move forward with the gameplay though, I just want to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for sponsoring today's video. They've been with us throughout this entire series, and with their app covering over 100 different international football leagues and competitions, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure that you'll find their app incredibly useful. The OneFootball app is available for both iOS and Android, and it was through the app last weekend that I found out which team had won the AFC Champions League. Rafael Silva had an incredible return of 5 goals and 1 assist in 5 games for the Ultimate Champions, scoring in both legs of the final as the Japanese team went on to win the whole tournament. And you may have noticed that that is the team that is representing Team Asia today. As well as utilising the app to find out what's going on in different competitions around the world, I also use it to keep up to date with the UEFA Champions League and follow the latest Premier League scores and results through the app too. The OneFootball app is completely free to download, so there's nothing to lose here, but plenty to gain. It's a brilliant app, there's a link in the description down below, so if you love football but don't yet have it installed on your phone, be sure to give it a go. Anyway though, let's get into the gameplay. Team Europe up against Team Asia. May the best team win. Team Asia with the kickoff here, and it would be amazing to witness an early goal. Based on how the CPU tends to play in this game though, I wouldn't really count on it, and instantly, Team Asia have already lost the ball there. With Kevin De Bruyne, that is a fantastic challenge though. Honda plays that across to Aaron Moy, who moves it back to Honda. It's back with Moy once again, who turns it out wide to Son. He plays it inside to Kagawa, and that is not a good ball to our summer. Nearly something special, not quite though, and the ball is back with Team Europe. Our summer's holding up the ball here, moves that back to Aaron Moy, and he's just absolutely floored Tony Kroos. Went in so hard there, and now Lewandowski is holding onto the ball, holding off Aaron Moy, turns that back, plays it across, bit of a dodgy pass, but it does work out. Carvajal's on it now, plays that through the midfield. Kevin De Bruyne moves it out wide to Eden Hazard. He tries to take on his man, back heels it. Carvajal, play that one over, mate. That is not the right decision. He tried to run it in and got tackled. Team Asia are back on the ball. Denisov passes that across. It's back with him. What can he do now? Not a lot. Modric is making a dangerous run through the midfield now then. Can he make the most of this situation with a quality pass forward? He can't. What on earth is that? Story of the match so far. A lot of promise, but not much quality in the final third. Team Asia on the attack once again now then. Al Sommer moves that forward to Honda. He's just stopped. I don't know what he's doing. He's teasing the Team Europe defenders, I think. Anyway, though, passing play as ever. Again, though, not much action. Just moving it around without too much purpose. And ultimately, someone's probably going to make a dodgy pass and Team Europe will get it back. Nope. Team Asia have been fouled, in fact, and they've got a free kick. Hopefully they can do something with this one, pump it into the box, maybe find someone's head, get a goal. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? It's back with Honda. What can he do with this one? Plays it forward to Denisov. He plays it through into the box. It's back with Denisov. This time, I expect there to at least be a shot at the end of this move. There, again, there's been so much promise in this attack, but 
Yes, just doesn't seem to be amounting to anything at the moment. Oh, there was a shot there from Denisov, to be fair, but it was pathetic. Can we finally have a moment of quality here, though? Chiellini's on the ball, passes that forward to Modric, and once again, this is good passing play. Will it amount to anything, though? Okay, that is a shot from Luka Modric. It was a pretty terrible shot, but it was a shot nonetheless. And now we've had a terrible shot from Denisov and an awful shot from Luka Modric too. Not much going on. Nice ball forward there though, looking for his man out wide in Son, but it didn't quite work out. Kevin De Bruyne has got the ball on the edge of the box now then. Goes past Aaron Moy, tries out the shot, and that is a good stop from Brad Jones. I picked him for this game for his height advantage, and it definitely worked out for him there. Look at that, great shot from Kevin De Bruyne, but Brad Jones has got it covered, touches it over the bar, keeps Team Asia in the game, and the scoreline remains 0-0. Son's got the ball out wide here, but that is not good enough. He gets tackled by Tony Kroos, and he's going to launch it forward to Hazard, is he? He does. Hazard's away. Quality ball here. What is that? There's three defenders in the middle, and he tries to play it through them. Why did he do that? That is such a terrible decision. Anyway, though, Kagawa wins it there, and... He's just holding on to the ball, plays it across. Come on, Team Asia, do something with the ball. Don't just pass it around. Coming up towards half time now then, and Honda is going to pump that one into the box. And I think that was an attempt at goal. That was one of the weakest headers I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure it was a shot, but there was no power in that whatsoever. So we've arrived at half time now, and both teams have been lacking quality in the final third. Both teams have had two shots, the best of which came from Kevin De Bruyne. Forced a pretty decent save out of Brad Jones. He had it covered though, and at half-time, the score remains at 0-0. Team Asia may be just about edging it in terms of the stats. 55% possession, 89% passing accuracy. At the moment though, they've not had a single shot on target, so... Yeah, they need to up their game in the second half, at least test out the keeper and see what happens. Then again, Team Europe do have Manuel Neuer in goal, so it's going to take something pretty special to beat him. Anyway though, let's get into the second half and let's see what happens. Team Europe with the kickoff for the second half and I'm hoping that both teams will be a bit more adventurous this time. Neither team really pushed forward in that first half, they were just prepared to pass it around without too much intent. Anyway though, Cristiano Ronaldo plays that back to Modric, he moves it forwards, Tony Kroos is on it, moves that across to Chiellini, moves it back to Tony Kroos, Lewandowski making a good run there, what can he do with this one? Gets past his man, takes the shot on, not a good effort though. Son's making some good movements down the left wing here, what's he doing with that though? He nearly took it out of play, couple of step overs, takes it past his man, whips it across... What on earth was that though? Team Asia attacking the Team Europe box now then, but Al Sommer can't quite bring it under his spell. Son plays that back though, and that is a good stop by Manuel Neuer. He was at full stretch there, brilliant strike, but didn't quite beat Manuel Neuer. And at this point, Eden Hazard's been taken off, and Gareth Bale is coming onto the field. Zidane has made a change. Will it be a positive change though? Can Bale have an impact here? And... It looks like Team Asia might make a substitution too. The player's looking across at the dugout and Aaron Moy is being taken off here. Ki Sung Young is coming on in his place. I don't agree with that decision, to be completely honest. Aaron Moy has been one of the better players in this game. He's getting taken off though, and that could cost Team Asia. Oh, here we go. Look at that run from Lewandowski through the middle. And that is a killer ball from Luka Modric. He's got Gareth Bale over to his right. Keeper comes out. He goes for it though, he should have chipped him or passed it across to Gareth Bale. He tried to get it into the corner though, and it just wasn't the right decision. Gareth Bale's lining up to smash one now then. He's hit that over the bar though, not a bad effort. He's disappointed with himself though, he knows that was a good chance, and he's not quite made the most of it. As I say, wasn't a terrible effort. Keeper had it covered all the way though, and it dips over the bar. Zidane thought he was going to score, he was wrong. Son's got the ball on the edge of the box here, plays that across to Honda. What's he doing there though? He's tried to play it to the edge and it's just not worked out for him. Lewandowski plays that across to Gareth Bale and he's got plenty of stamina left. Working his way down the wing. Look at that tackle though. Brilliant stuff from Denisov right there. They've moved that across to Ki Sung Young. He looks forward to Honda and look at that run from Kagawa. Come on lads, make the most of this situation. I believe in you at this point. You've probably been the better team so even though I'm obviously European... Kind of want Team Asia to win at this point. Anyway though, Honda plays that across. Can they get a goal here? He's moved that forward to Son. Takes on his man. Plays it into Kagawa. 
hasn't quite connected with that the way that he would have wanted though. Here comes CR7, he's been fairly anonymous in this game so far, and what's he doing there? That pretty much sums up the way he's been playing. He's just got no confidence in this game whatsoever. I don't think he's taken a single shot. Did you see that challenge though? That was a masterpiece. Anyway though, TR goes on the ball, fresh on the field. What can he do with this one? Moves it forward to Cristiano and he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball a few times in this game. And like I was saying before, he's just not been good enough at all. That is a good challenge though from Tony Kroos. Plays it forward to Cristiano and once again, he tried something and it just didn't work. They've moved the ball forward to Al Sommer though, and he can't quite control it. Tony Kroos is back on it again now then, and look at that ball forward. Unfortunately though, it fell to Jordi Alba, and the shot was just weak. There was no power in it whatsoever. Keeper boots that one clear. It falls to Ki Sung Young. He moves it on to Honda, and this is a promising looking attack for Team Asia. They've moved that out wide to Okazaki. He came on from the bench, plays that inside. What are they doing though? They should be attacking the box and they're just passing it around the midfield. There's still no urgency in their play. They might be here though. They played it across to Honda. He moves it back. And what a finish from Ki Sung Young. I criticised the decision when he came on. Said that Aaron Moy had been the, probably been the best player on the pitch for Team Asia. But yeah, the manager made the right call as can be seen there. He scored a goal. And it looks like Team Asia are going to win this one. There's barely any time left. And that is a brilliant finish from Ki Sung Young. 1-0 to Team Asia, and it looks like they've got the victory in the bag. Zero shots, zero goals for Cristiano Ronaldo, and Team Asia have picked up a 1-0 victory. Zidane changed up the formation, moved Alba into midfield. Didn't really work out though. He got a 5.7 rating, and Cristiano Ronaldo got a 5.9. No one really shone for Team Europe. Tony Kroos and Sergio Ramos the best of a bad bunch, but... Yeah, not the best performance in the world from Team Europe, was it? In direct contrast to that, however, Team Asia did pretty well for themselves. Honda picked up an 8.8 .8 rating. He was the man of the match, provided the assist right at the end, and ultimately, Team Asia have picked up a 1-0 victory. So there you have it. Brilliant game from Honda. Not so great from Cristiano Ronaldo. Anyway, though, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you again next time.